the recipe is actually really, really easy. I'm gonna go through now all the ingredients and the utensils that you're gonna need. The first thing, all you're gonna do is set your oven, if you've got a fan oven, to 180 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees if you don't have a fan oven. The ingredients that you're gonna need is 500 grams of flour, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 400 millilitres of milk, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and if you want to add some honey, two teaspoons of honey. The utensils you're going to need is a small mixing bowl, a large mixing bowl, a small dish to mix up the buttermilk, and then a large pan or a baking tray to put your bread into for when we're ready to cook it. I also like to use a spatula as it's much easier to work with than spoons. So firstly, let's weigh out 500 grams of flour. Now we add our flour into the mixing bowl. Next, we're going to take one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and put it into the mix. Now we add two teaspoons of salt. Okay, so this is half of the bread mix sorted. We're going to leave that to one side, grab our small mixing bowl. We're going to need to get our milk and our white vinegar ready to make our buttermilk. Okay, so to make our buttermilk, we need 400 millilitres of milk. And roughly speaking, that's two cups of milk is about 400 millilitres. So we're going to add that into our bowl now. We're going to add two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now the white vinegar has been added to the milk, we need to mix this for about one minute. If you want to put honey into your mix, this is the time to do it. So we're going to grab our honey and put in two teaspoons straight into the milk. Okay, that's our buttermilk ready. Next thing we're going to do, is we're going to pour that into the flour mixture. And be really careful here because it can be quite messy. Okay, you should be able to hear it fizzing a little bit, which is great. We're going to get our spatula now and we're going to give this a nice big stir until it kind of forms a nice sticky dough shape. Okay, so I've just added a little bit more flour just because mine was a little bit runny. So you can add that bit by bit and now it's just starting to form a bit of a ball shape so we're going to whack this now onto the chopping board and sprinkle some flour that I've prepared in my smaller bowl just before we put it down so it doesn't stick to the surface Keep it out and put it straight onto that flour okay once you've formed a nice dough with the mix scoop up as much of the flour as we can and we're going to form a bit of a ball shape with it and we're going to put that into our pan ready to put in the oven to cook. Okay so I've got my pot here ready to go into the oven and you can see my big ball of dough. I'm just going to place that into the middle. Something you might like to do just before you pop this in the oven is just put a nice big deep cross using a knife. Be careful with the knife into the top. Just cut that into the top just so that it cooks nicely. Okay, now we've got the dough ready, it's in the pan. We're gonna pop that into the oven for 40 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay guys, so it's been 40 minutes now. I'm gonna just check on the bread. It looks and smells amazing. It's golden brown and shady. Look at that. All right, let's see if it's ready. Well, it looks absolutely divine. Now we're just gonna pop a knife into the middle and just test to see whether it comes out gooey. If it comes out nice and dry, it means it's cooked in the middle. So we're good to get it out of the pot, onto a cooling rack, let it cool, and then we can slice it and taste it. So there we go. Lovely homemade soda bread, cooked, ready to eat.